It was all going so well. A decade of profits for an industry that rarely makes money. 2020 was positioned to be a time of promise and prosperity. Three airlines marked a century of flying. KLM, the oldest in the world. Avianca, the oldest in Latin America. And British Airways, a hundred years old. There were more birthdays to celebrate. 75 years for IATA and 75 years for ICAO. Beijing's Daxing Airport opened last year with facial recognition technology. And Istanbul's giant new airport boasts robots that help passengers find their way round. Climate change was front and fore as aviation worked to offset its emissions. And records were broken as passengers flew further and longer. That was then before aviation faced its worst ever crisis, as the coronavirus pandemic changed everything for travel and tourism. Back in March, planes by the thousands, once full of passengers, were put into storage. Routes, once to all corners of the world, canceled. And airports, once hubs of activity, ghosts of their former selves. It's the worst challenge, the biggest crisis we've ever faced. We're facing all together a such a different new reality where airlines need to adjust. A calamity this large meant airlines having to say goodbye to tens of thousands of colleagues laid off. While airlines revised, revamped and retired many planes in their fleet, including the original jumbo jet, the queen of the skies, along with the A380 Super Jumbo, grounded, with in some cases, airlines saying no more. The industry was shaken to its core, but pushed on, raising billions in capital to boost balance sheets, whilst investing in new cleaning and sanitizing measures. The goal to convince passengers flying is the safest way to travel. It's been an unprecedented time for aviation. In the future, in the coming two to three years, it is very likely to happen that um, the, uh, the, the number of companies uh, will reduce. Yet never forget, there is still a sense of optimism that recovery will come. So getting aviation back on its feet and keeping it stable and ready to really participate and fuel the ultimate recovery uh, is really important. It is clear passengers want to travel and aviation's ready when they do. Getting people where they want to go and bringing family and friends together again. <laughs>